good, you all. Back finally, little a uh, little break, but you know I think it was necessary because you know I don't want to have like a boring podcast. There wasn't a ton going on. Uh, obviously, the tournament was in full effect, but outside of that, not much to talk about. So instead, we'll just give you a good podcast. You know, instead of just boring you last week, just gonna skip into this week. We've got a lot to talk about. Um, so first, the season obviously just ended. Um, but Kentucky basketball, so some news already. Um, Keon Brooks has announced he's testing the waters. So, um, you know, that was kind of expected. Either him transferring or testing waters or something. But uh, leaving the opportunity of coming back open, you know. Um, so, Oscar. Everybody knows Oscar Sheboy. Um, we've both, you know, seen a lot of him after watching a lot of college basketball and obviously plays for my favorite team. So, uh it was remarkable what he did this year, and the awards back it up, I think. Um, there's too many to name, so I'm going to pop a picture on the screen of the awards that he won. Um, he won like 30. Yeah, uh, which the the main ones, obviously, he won the Wooden Award, the AP National Player of the Year, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, like yeah. a lot of stuff. But, yeah, so I'll pop up a picture. Uh and something interesting. So Kentucky beat both national champions, uh, women's and men's. So like I, like I said a few podcasts ago, whenever we upset South Carolina and women's, uh, that was something crazy. Uh, but yeah, and then going into the national championship, the two teams that were in it, Kentucky had beat them both, which just shows how crazy college basketball can just flip, like right. all in the same season. Uh, but – Kyra Elsey, the girls' coach, she just got a contract extension with Kentucky, which I don't know how I feel about it because obviously the season ended pretty well. Um, we were a first round exit in the tournament, but we were like a, I don't remember what seed we were, lost to Princeton, I think is what it was. Um, but as soon as the season ended, so obviously Ryan Howard, she's gone, she's a senior, but our three best players transferred out. So, that hurts for sure. Um, so I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I like her as a person. It's just I don't know if she's the answer. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see how that goes. And I don't know if you've heard about this. So rumors of Cal going to the Lakers. Stop the Cal. <laughs> Stop the Cal right now. Because no way. Yeah, I've and, not heard that. <laughs> so it seems like every off season. There's either a high-profile college team that's offering tons of money to get Cal or an NBA team. And it's been happening for a while. Uh, But, yeah, so the one this year is the Lakers, which is probably the biggest name. Uh, So Frank Vogel, their coach, he just – they parted ways today or they agreed to or something. Um, But, yeah, so apparently the Lakers are going to make a push at him. Uh, I don't think it will happen, but – yeah, so so thoughts on that? What do we think Cal in the NBA? It's been a while no. since he's been in the NBA. Yeah, but no, nah, I don't know. If it's just because I've always like I've grown up watching him coach Kentucky, yeah. like in college. But I don't I don't see it happening. Like he, I think yeah. he cares too much about Kentucky. Like I don't know. I just can't see him going. In the NBA. I don't see him as an NBA coach. And no. whenever he was, uh, it did not go well. He's meant for college. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I don't see it happening. Obviously, they can offer as much money as any like, – they, they have more money than they know what to do with. But right. I just don't see him leaving, um, which obviously we don't owe him anything if he, if he leaves because it's his decision. But I don't know. I don't I don't think it would happen. But it's you know something to talk about, some rumors. Uh, but, yeah, so new uniforms. I've said multiple times I'm so the happy. The, <laughs> the cursed, cursed uniforms. uniforms. And it's not – that the checkerboard, I like the checkerboard. I liked how these looked. The checkerboard's always been in the uniform, but I hated these ones. I didn't I didn't think they were the ugliest, but they were just cursed. They, they were, yeah. No other way to put it. Uh, so, yeah, I've seen a lot of, like, people, like, making up what they think they'll look like. And all I've heard is um, they'll be classic looking. Oh. So, I, I like Ooh. that. Yeah. It okay. gets me hype. I'm ready to see them. So, this summer sometime, we should get them. Uh but yeah, so I think it's 217 days until Kentucky has their first game, and it'll be against uh, Michigan State. 
in uh, in Good old first game Indianapolis. I think I should be there. I think. Uh, I think. Hey. Hopefully. Uh, but so yeah, so it'll be a while. Long off season for the Cats. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm hyped for the new unis for sure. Yeah. Tennessee basketball. We got some sad, but you know. Kind of Good expected. for you. Yeah, yeah. kind of expected news. Uh, Kennedy Chandler announced um, he's going to the draft. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, you say that you're fine fine. when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. Don't be sad it's over. Be happy it happened. Yes. Yeah. His time at Tennessee was, he played very Something well. Something special, I think. Yeah, he was part it of this is. special team for the Vols. Yeah. Uh, and I know he was one of your favorite players. Yeah, uh, definitely. This year, he probably. I'm not picking players, but he was. Your yeah, he's my favorite player yeah. to watch this year. So you just gotta fall in love with the point guard too. Yeah, something about exactly. The point guard. It's just something about the point guard. Is <laughs> yeah. I guess always having the ball or something. He's a good know, leader too. He is for sure. Um, and he's kind of like he's not like a guy that's like. Sp- I want to say speaks his mouth, but talks like trash. He works in silence. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, I like that too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't want somebody that's just yapping the whole game. Yeah. He lets his game talk, you know. He don't, like, post stuff over social media and, like, all that stuff, so. Yeah, I think I think he'll get picked up early, though, first round, I would think. I haven't even checked where he's going in mock drafts. Yeah, I don't, but, I don't know where he's projected. Uh, But, yeah, I would assume first round. Um, He's first-round talent. I know that. Uh, So, if a team needs a point guard, why not take a chance on him? Right. Um. So the McDonald's All American game, uh, it I feel like it used to be more important than what it is now. Like I used to be like, oh, I can't wait. Like I used to this year, I didn't even know what was happening until the night of. Like I was like, yeah, I guess I'll turn it on, you know. Uh, but it's it's definitely changed um, because like a few years ago, it's like, all right, there's like five Kentucky commits, four Duke commits, three from North Carolina, five for Kansas. Like, but now it's like. Players aren't more spread out. Yeah, it's like because Arkansas has three five stars. Who? Right. They're they're actually projected number one next season, like early projections, like what they. Really? Yeah. So Arkansas number one to start the year. That's crazy. Musselman's well. get, got it going on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it was uh, cool to see. I mean, players going everywhere. Obviously, you've got your Kansas and North Carolina, Kentucky. Um, but yeah, like Arkansas was a surprise. There's Baylor commits, uh, yeah. just stuff you like to see. But the uh, MVP of it was Derek Whitehead, headed to Duke. So I hated seeing that. You know, don't want to see that at all. Yeah, um, but yeah, he, he's really good. And then Derek Lively, the number one player in the class, he's committed to Duke as well. Uh, he played really good. And then the two players going to Kentucky, Chris Livingston and Casey Wallace. Uh, I like what I saw. I mean, Chris Livingston can definitely shoot a little bit better than what I thought. So that's always yeah. a plus. Uh, but, yeah, and you can't really take all your knowledge based off that game. Like, it's just basically, it's a glorified all-star game. Like, right. you can't just think uh, that's how they are always. But, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of athletes in this class, for sure. Uh, for sure. But, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for next basketball season. Uh, there's a lot of good talent coming in, freshman-wise. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a lot of dudes in the transfer portal. So, college basketball next year about to be interesting. Hey, about to shape up nicely. Yeah. But <laughs> before next year, obviously, we've got to wrap up this year. Uh, so, we had talked uh, a couple podcasts in a row about the tournament, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the best tournament in all of sports. You know, it's best set up. The greatest thing. But um, – the Cinderella team of this year was St. Peter's. St. Peter's. There's no, no arguing that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, in, as much as I hated it, us being in their path, it was pretty cool to see. Um, I don't think I can ever say I rooted for them after that, just because it hurt. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, it was, it was definitely cool to see. Uh, and then Shaheen Holloway, their coach, uh, I don't know if you saw it. He took the Seton Hall. Seton Hall, yeah. yeah. He used to play there, didn't he? Yeah, his, his alma mater. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's cool for him. Um, but, yeah, so the final four, uh, Villanova versus Kansas, and then um, Duke versus North Carolina, which was crazy because in uh, Coach K's final year, that was the first time they ever played uh, in the tournament. That had never happened before. And so, hmm. uh, 
in that game, if you don't know by now, UNC won. So yeah. <laughs> that ended Coach K's career at 500 uh, against North Carolina. So he was wow. 50 and 50. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I love to see it. Uh, I don't want him <laughs> to have a winning record. Uh, but, yeah, so they ended his uh, head coaching career at Cameron Indoor with a loss, and then they ended his career as well. So I don't think you can, like, wish for any more as a North Carolina fan. Obviously, you can try to win the Natty, but, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that, that's about as good as it gets. Yeah. That, that's awesome for them. Uh, but and then Kansas and Villanova, uh, that game was – not how I expected. Villanova, obviously, they lost their uh, it's like second or third best player. I can't remember his name, but um, Kansas shot the lights out. Uh, that game, they, did. they played really good. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, someone said Villanova showed up to a gunfight with a bag of rocks in that one. <laughs> and that's about the best way you can put it because that's what happened. Uh, it wasn't a game. Brought ever. a knife to a gunfight? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a game at any point. Um, so yeah, Kansas easily got away with that one, and then Kansas UNC national championship. Uh, so UNC was chasing their seventh, and then so that'd be one behind Kentucky, and then Kansas was going for their fourth, and then the Jayhawks won, uh, which I'm Honestly, glad that they won. You're glad that Kansas won? Yeah, because I don't want UNC to have seven rings. Ah, uh, okay, I, I, okay. I don't want them that close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Honestly, I think it was a great like championship. Yeah. I do too. Like it was good. Yeah, biggest comeback in uh, national championship history too. They were down like sixteen or eighteen or whatever. At one point, yeah. They were down fifteen at half. Like, yep. It was awesome, and the ending made for a good one too. I mean, he it was a bad possession by uh, UNC, yeah. and they were down three, and then dude stepped out. The ball. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that's crazy. They were up at fifteen at halftime, and like literally. They just needed to take care of the ball. Because I didn't think Kansas was going to catch back up. I was like, did they have 15? Like, if they just take care of the ball, keep doing what they're doing. Yeah. But, hey, it's March. College, <laughs> yeah, it's March, college basketball. Uh, but, yeah, so that was their first uh, national title since 2008, I think. But it might get vacated, so that'd be cool. You know, I, I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, so then they're back to three rings. Uh, Dang. So, yeah, it'll be an interesting offseason, especially for the Jayhawks, because they have a chance of losing a bunch of wins. Yeah. Uh, so that would suck for them. Um, but, yeah, so you, you like the, the ending of the uh, March Madness? I enjoyed it. I liked it. The I Final it Four. I think it went well. Yeah. The, uh, the UNC-Duke game was one of the best games that I've ever watched. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to top the 2016 championship with Villanova and uh, UNC, but that was a great game, especially with it being rivalries yeah. in the Final Four, 70,000 people watching. Like, that was awesome. Uh, but, yeah, so as much as I hate the man, a legendary career for uh, Coach K. Very you yeah. can't, you can't, can't go take away that. what he did like, yeah. for Duke and that Duke. So. And as many times as I've seen things that he's done, I'm like, he's a jerk. Two things after the game made me have some respect for him as he goes away. I know yeah. what, one thing you're going to say. Yeah, you you probably know one of them. Uh, one was in the interview after the game, though, and he was like, they are like, so how are you feeling or something? And he was like, I'm hurt for my players, so I'll worry about me later. Yeah. And, and so I was like, okay, respect. Like, yeah, uh, he cares about the players. He's a players first guy, uh, so I thought that was cool. And then uh, you probably knew like the Armando Baycott thing, where he went up to him after the game, and mm. he was like, he was like, "You were my player of the year," which I kind of thought was shot at Oscar, you know. But it was still cool because he was like, "I hope you're okay," because he got hurt, obviously. Yeah, right. Uh, is that what you were thinking? The one thing. Was? No, I was thinking because they didn't shake hands with uh, Kansas, did they after the game? Or right, UNC. I- or UNC, that's what yeah. I mean, yeah. He did, and then Wendell Moore did. That's the only player. And then I think some of the coaches did, but I know Coach K did. Hmm. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of their players just walked off. Yeah, but, that's what I thought. And I was like, dude, like, that's just, like, that's being a sore loser. It's the most big. Like, I know you're upset, but, like, hey, they played better at the end. Yeah. You know. You're in the Final Four. You made it this far, like, shake their hand. Yeah. That's the most Duke thing they could have done. <laughs> It just really is. Walk off. That's well said. Uh, yeah, that was that describes Duke right there. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, 
the one shining moment video kind of hurt. Uh, Oscar was in it crying, so that that sucked. Kennedy Chandler was in it crying too. I was like, dude, yeah, it just sucks. Our teams were, were the the big seeds that went out early. Was our teams? <sighs> you hate to see it, but yeah. So uh, for the for the baseball part, I'll speak first because you know Tennessee's got a lot to talk about. Uh, so the main thing for Kentucky is we finally got two thousand wins hey. in baseball. Which is, you know, I think a little cool thing, but uh, yeah. basically, we started hot, and we're like sitting at this like level, like we can be great, but we're sitting at good. Like we beat Ole Miss one game, lost two. Yeah. Uh, we were supposed to play Louisville tonight, but they got canceled. I don't really know what happened, but yeah, it didn't happen. Probably weather. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> but I was looking forward to. It. We probably would have lost. Louisville's good, but. I don't know. Hmm. But. Tennessee baseball. Um, a lot to talk about. It's been a minute, like yeah. you said, since uh, the last podcast. So, two big sweeps of the season. Huge. We swept Ole Miss, and we swept Vandy. <laughs> and Vanderbilt fans and players... Any coaches could not stand it. I'm sure y'all know by now, y'all Tennessee fans out there, they were having bat checks on us and everything. Yeah. And it was crazy. But they were butt hurt. Couldn't, you know, face the fact that we're just better. All right? We're just better. I think Vandy's so used to being at the Dominating. Top, yes. And that's their only thing. So they just hate to see right. them not at the top, I think. Right. So the Vols were ranked, uh, ranked one. And it's been 28 years yeah. since an SEC team has started 9-0 in the conference. And Tennessee has won 19 straight games. Going to be 20 tonight. I think we're up 4 to nothing in the seventh inning. Hurry up. Playing, it was a nobody. I don't remember who. But we should be 20 straight wins. And uh, we're not in our own conference. That's crazy. It's a great crazy start. stat. Great start. Best start in program history. Yeah. Far. And first time being ranked number one in program history. Right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's that's wild. Uh, yeah, y'all literally got pitchers like – y'all got so many pitchers that are just st- we got, stacked. We got depth, yeah. Yeah, I'm scared and for Kentucky. And we're just hitting the lights out. Yeah. Literally. The bats are hot, so hopefully we keep it up, man. Yeah, I'm kind of scared for when Kentucky plays them. It's, <laughs> it's like playing Bama or something. It's like, you know, I guess there's a chance, but like, – yeah. They're just really good. Hey, but it's uh, baseball. Like anything can happen. Anything can, you can. And because it's like series, so like you can drop one, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, just depending on like how a certain pitcher does, or yeah, how you're playing that night. Maybe That's the, the bats thing aren't about hot. Series. It's like back yeah. to back to back games every day, and like you can be hot one day, and next day just complete opposite. Like, oh yeah. But yeah, so that makes baseball interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so baseball is literally the last college sport. Uh, whole well, major sport that's going yeah. on. Uh, so yeah, definitely locked in. Uh, ready for the college world series for sure. For sure. Uh, then a lot of people don't care about this, <laughs> but basically all your dads care. Uh, all your dads, your uncles, you know, grandpa probably, and then some of the the rare golfers uh, that are our age. Uh, I've recently got into golf. I oh, like. I love it so much. Uh, but the Masters. So, um, the most beautiful place on earth, Augusta National. Uh, the place is beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Um, like, like, everything is, what'd your dad say? It was like it, heaven? Yeah, if he could think of what heaven looks like, it's that. Dude, it's sort of like, uh, everything's perfect. Like, there's not, yeah. like, like nothing. I wrong. don't think you can make it any more perfect than it is. <laughs> like, the water is sitting It's so still. It's like a mirror. Yeah. Like, place is crazy uh but yeah so today the goat tiger woods announced that he's gonna play and i mean part of this is like yeah why wouldn't he say it and then part of it's like got you hype they asked him they're like do you think you can win he's like i do so i'm hyped for it and he can uh i mean it's golf so you can have an off day uh which the masters is like four days so i mean it's usually the best person will win. But 
Uh, so the favorite going in is John Rom. Uh, he's been playing well uh, the past year to he won his, war, his first major uh last year i think um but yeah there i mean obviously there's a lot of good people uh dustin johnson justin thomas tiger woods bryson DeChambeau, brooks kepka there's golf stacked more kawa like the the list goes on uh i think it's open though uh i would think john rom will win it just because he's playing well it'd be crazy if tiger won coming out <laughs> after a wreck <laughs> He's he's basically I mean he's not old but he's the he, old head of the group. He's getting up there. Yeah, he's yeah. older than most. Yeah. So yeah, I'm hyped for it. Uh starting in 2 days. Uh and then Sweet. tomorrow's the par 3 competition, so that'll be cool. Uh But yeah, the Masters. It's just hmm. awesome. Most beautiful place. Uh <laughs> And just a great sport. I still got to get you into into golfing though. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a big. Uh, I'm not a big golfer. I mean, I am working on it though. I'm a, he's trying to. You know, he's trying to rub off on me. But hey, once I get you out there one time, it's wraps. You're stuck. I'm a, I'm a putt putt guy, man. I'm hey. a putt putt guy. <laughs> hey, if, you're, if you're nice at putt putt, you're gonna be good at uh, regularly putting too. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit different, but. Yeah, golf is a blast. I do um, want to try that though. I do want to go golfing sometime. We'll have to this summer. Cause yeah. I went. Well, I haven't really like went to an actual course and like did the holes and stuff. But I like have like hit golf balls before. But hitting golf balls is fun, dude. It is. It's a blast. Golf is the most stressful and the most peaceful game you'll ever play in your life. You you'll hit one. You're like, dude, I'm, I hate this. I'll never golf again. And yeah. then somehow you'll chip in on the same hole. And you're like, I love golf so much. It's not that I don't have, like, any interest to play golf. It's just, like, I've never, like... You just done it? Yeah, I've never, like, put myself out there to go play golf. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which, I mean, for me, if it wasn't for uh, Samuel, then I wouldn't have ever even thought about golfing. Yeah. But, yeah, now I love it. Very expensive, though. So that sucks. Yeah. (laughs) But, yeah, so I guess guess that's all. Um, and I'm sure uh, a lot of you know about all the craziness in the NFL, but there's been so much craziness that we can't even just add it into this. We're going to make it a yeah. separate uh, video because there's just too much going on. Uh, but, yeah, and then NBA, I mean, there's not much to – like, you can't just talk about the NBA. Like, it's just, there's too many games. But yeah. it is uh, something to, to talk about. Um, the Lakers and the Nets aren't in the playoffs right now. So, if the if – the, Season ended today. That's crazy. Neither of them were in. Never thought you'd see the day. Yeah. Especially uh, with players I got on each team. But Yeah. You know. So, I think the Suns might be first in the West. And then, I don't know. I, I think the Bulls look good. The Suns look yeah. good. The hey, Grizzlies look good. That's my favorite right now, the Bulls. The Bulls look really good. Yeah. Uh, they're loaded. Um, but, yeah. So, obviously more to talk about with the NBA and NFL coming up. And uh, MLB just started. Yeah. Uh, big Reds guy. Uh, I'm like a lukewarm fan. Sad. I, I'm hurting even wearing this shirt. It's a Jesse Winker jersey shirt. Yeah. Man, he got traded. Gosh. <laughs> Along with Suarez. Dude, it's just yeah. like, the Reds, we don't hold never on ending. to anybody. Like, we just... It's never-ending pain. Uh, it just seems like whenever it's like somebody's finally turning out. Yeah. It's like, let's get rid of them. And then we release them and trade them. Yeah. So... Yeah. But we'll I gonna make another video for all that, right? Yep. Add in another podcast. Yeah, for sure. Uh so. cause that's that stuff's important, you know. That's yeah. big sports stuff. Uh and then I mean the Masters is this weekend. I'm gonna be locked in. I'm gonna be dialed. Uh <laughs> I'm about to be tuned in that for yeah. sure. Uh, but yeah, so the NFL craziness, uh some NBA stuff, all that, another pod, because that's a lot of important stuff. Uh but yeah, you got any any last things? I think that's it. Y'all have a great day. Yeah. Um, day, be night, safe. Whatever it is. Enjoy some golf, I guess. Oh yeah. Hey, if you're into <laughs> golf, enjoy some golf this weekend. And some college uh, baseball. And MLB. Yep, for sure. Um, yeah, I appreciate you all uh, tuning in. It means a lot to both of us. Um, and yeah, like you said, have a great night, day, whatever time you're watching it. And y'all be safe. Thank you all. See y'all. See you.